testing and protective gear is a humanitarian gesture, says the Kremlin, one for which New York air traffic control at least seemed grateful. Romeo Foxtrot, Foxtrot 8460 Heavy, we sincerely thank you for all the assistance you are bringing in. Contact Kennedy Tower 119.1. Have a good day. 119.1, you're welcome, thanks. But help like this is rarely free. In this case, it seems the US government paid for part of it. The Kremlin says at least half was donated by Russia. The question is, what does it get in return? It's odd because Russia is currently struggling itself with the coronavirus pandemic. The streets of the capital deserted amid an enforced lockdown. And while official casualty figures are relatively low, the Kremlin is slowly admitting their problem is far from under control. In fact, the Russian president has just appeared on state television, extending the national lockdown through April. The threat still remains. According to virologists, the peak of the epidemic in the world has not yet been passed, including in our country. Hardly the time, say critics, to be sending much-needed medical resources abroad. Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with Russia? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be nice? But Moscow may have other considerations. It wants painful American sanctions lifted, imposed for its meddling in the US election, and its military interventions in Syria and Ukraine. Humanitarian aid to the US could obscure its misbehavior elsewhere. But even if it doesn't, this potent image of Russia helping one of the world's most powerful countries may be the Kremlin's richest reward. Matthew Chance, CNN.